ever experienced where you're eating from a bag of chocolates and you grab one piece of chocolate, you finish it and you're like, that was good, I'll have another one. So you have another piece of chocolate and then another piece of chocolate. Then all of a sudden you're like, holy shit, the whole bag is done. What is wrong with me? Like, I must be out of control. And this, my friends, is really common. This is something that a lot of my clients go through. A lot of my clients who are ambitious entrepreneurs or coaches, and it's something that so many women struggle with. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you three simple words that can actually help you stop feeling out of control with your eating so you could finally take your power back and not feel like weight loss is impossible. So if you wanna learn the three special words that you need to know and practice to help you feel in control over your eating, stick to the end of the video so you can lose weight permanently. So here's the thing about weight loss. I've been a personal trainer for years. I've been a weight loss coach for three years. And the thing that I see on social media is so many fitness trainers and personal trainers and weight coaches will talk about planning food, how to eat food, how to portion food, macros and all that. But rarely people talk about the aftermath of overeating, how you deal with yourself after you've eaten way too many chips, way too many cookies, way too many chocolates. Not enough people are talking about how to deal with that. And this is important because if you don't know how to manage your brain after that sort of overeating event, you're going to be more likely to want to quit and give up on your weight loss. And here's why. So a lot of my clients tend to be really driven and they tend to be perfectionists and what I'll tell them in my coaching program is I'll tell them to plan the food they're going to eat for the day. So they'll plan what they eat in advance and so they have a nice plan. They're, they're probably meal prepping, they're probably knowing exactly what they want to eat, but then something happens in the day. Maybe something stressful happened in their business, maybe they didn't hit an income goal they wanted, maybe a client decided to stop working with them. So all these uncertain things that happen in their business will happen and then they might feel frustrated and they might go to the refrigerator and eat the whole entire bag of chocolates. Afterwards, they'll tell themselves, oh my God, I am out of control, what's wrong with me? And they'll start to panic. They'll actually start to feel like something's wrong with them and this will lead them to go into a frenzy and feel like they are hopeless, that nothing they'll do will ever work, and then they'll, they'll want to actually eat even more. So that eat reinforces even more the cycle of feeling like they have no control over food. So how do you talk to yourself after something like this, where you, you eat off plan, and it didn't happen as you expected it to, you didn't realize that you'd do something like that, how do you deal with that after the fact? Here's the thing about how our brains work. How your brain tells a story determines how you feel and how you respond to how you ate. So if you're telling yourself a story like, I'm so out of control of my eating, I don't know what to do, you're essentially creating panic for yourself and it's making it even harder for you to stop overeating in the moment because now your brain's like, oh, okay, something's wrong with me something's terrible with me, I'm out of control, and then it will function from that way. And from that place of panic and stress, you'll more likely want to overeat because eating helps you alleviate that stress in the moment. So we have to learn how to get out of this emergency mode so we could finally like calm ourselves down and just see that what we did isn't actually a true emergency. That way you have control over the situation, you have power over the situation, and you don't feel like quitting on your weight loss or feel like giving up on yourself altogether. So how do you get out of that emergency mode? How do you talk to yourself after overeating like that? It's so important to tell yourself these three words, and these are the three words that helped me when I was feeling out of control of my eating. So here are the three words that will help me snap out of that mode so I could gain my power back. And those three words are, I wanted it. Saying I want this, I wanted that, 
after the fact helps remind you that you were the actually the one that chose to eat the food and here's why this is important like a lot of people might say to me well I didn't actually want the food like why would I want all the chocolate why would I want to screw up my weight loss goals like I don't want to do that that's true on an intellectual level like it's true you wouldn't want to eat those foods like we we all know that, right? Like we all know, but there's still a part of you that did want it. Because let's be real, if you didn't want it, you would not eat it. Like if you saw a piece of broccoli on the table next to a piece of chocolate, most likely you'll, you're gonna wanna have the piece of chocolate versus the broccoli. Why? Because chocolate just tastes a lot better. It's just more pleasurable, it delivers more dopamine, and it just feels a lot better to eat. So the way to feel in control over your eating is really being truthful and honest with yourself and really reminding yourself that you chose to eat that food because on some level you wanted to eat it. Whether it's because you wanted to feel a different way emotionally, even just to fulfill a desire, you wanted to eat that food in the moment. And that is the most empowering place to be because when you're in that place of empowerment, that's where you know, hey, I chose this for myself. I decided on my terms to eat this chocolate. It didn't have to do with my environment. It didn't have to do with the food in front of me. It didn't have to do with my willpower or whatever, my lack of willpower. All I had to do with is just me wanting to eat food, end of story. That's what gives you that level of power, that's what helps you gain control, and that's what helps you also create a relationship with yourself where you're not pretending or lying to yourself about the way you eat. So to help put this into action, if you happen to plan ahead of time, just like I tell my clients, like plan the food you're gonna eat ahead of time, plan every meal like a protein, veggie, and healthy fat at least 24 hours in advance. And then on the day of, if you happen to eat off plan, if something happens and you, you just ate an entire bag of chips or crackers or nuts, that's your opportunity to change the language in your head. Not saying I'm out of control of my eating, but instead shifting that to I wanted to eat those. And then after that, asking yourself, what's my next best decision? So it's kind of like a two-step process. It's like, I accept what I did in the moment. I'm not judging myself. I'm accepting what happened. I'm being truthful that I actually wanted to eat that food. Now what's my next best decision? That way you could keep focusing on moving forward, learning from what happened, and not dwelling in the mistake, not dwelling in the drama, and not dwelling in the shame of what happened. All right, everyone, so if you're wanting to learn more about this, if this is something that you'd love some coaching on, like if you're realizing like, oh gosh, I really do feel out of control in my eating and I just wanna take my control back, but I want more tools, I want to learn more about how my brain works, this is your opportunity to get coaching and to learn from me directly in a private coaching setting. So I'm actually offering a limited time spot for one-on-one -on -one coaching just with me that's open to especially entrepreneurs or coaches who are very successful but they just don't know how to handle the overeating they don't know how to handle the emotional roller coaster of overeating and so they use food to escape all the uncomfortable emotions that come with running a business so if you're interested in coaching go ahead and click the link below to apply for coaching with me or you could also just look into my Impulse Mastery program if you want a group setting. We're gonna start our next round in June 2022. All right, everyone, so if you love this video, if you wanna learn more about how to take control over food, over sugar, over carbs, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you can get notifications on my future videos when they come out. All right, everybody, I'll see you next time. And again, tell yourself I wanted it and what's the next best decision. See you guys.